so today i'll be making a rasta pasta for this video yes a rasta pasta and i'll be using chicken breasts for the meat kind never felt for rice i felt like just needed something light so i'll be taking you through what i use to prepare this rasta pasta buckle your seat belts Okay, so here I'm cooking a box of panini pasta. I used an entire box. I cooked this for 10 minutes in a little salt water and I did pour a little dash of olive oil in the water. Here I'll be using chicken breast as I mentioned to you because I no longer eat shrimp. So I am... Um, doing the chicken on my stovetop, grilling in a little butter on my stovetop, my chicken breast, yes, I'm grilling it on my stovetop because it's quicker, easier, and this was like a quick recipe I intended to do. Along the way, I also messed up in the video because i got a little distracted so at one point my camera was not turned properly so please bear with me i messed up in this video and i did not intend to spend so much time on it and then to delete the old thing after the meal was already prepared so i do hope that you'll enjoy and you will get something from this rasta pasta done with grilled chicken for this recipe i used bell pepper red green yellow i used one small onion i used four cloves garlic there i have three tablespoon jerk sauce i have heavy cream in the cup which is one and a half cup i used sharp cheese and mozzarella cheese and there you can see my grilled chicken. If you want, you can also add habanero pepper or any other spicier pepper, but the jerk sauce does make it tasty. Other persons have used shrimp in theirs. As I mentioned, I no longer consume shrimp. Even oxtail, I've seen persons doing this with. So I'll be doing this in a wok that I have. So here I have half tablespoon olive oil. And then I'll be adding all my seasoning in to saute. Then I'm adding in my heavy cream. Once this starts boiling, then I'll be adding the cheese to make my sauce. And that was one and a half cup sharp cheese and the mozzarella cheese was one and a half cup also. I grated them for myself. So I'm adding this now to the pot to start cooking to make that sauce. that I will need for the pasta. And this took me 
I would say a little over 30 minutes or 35 minutes. Once I added the cheese, I stirred this to like mix the cheese out into the mixture. I continue to mix this because you know it's milk and cheese with the seasonings in it. There you can see it's literally boiling up and you don't want it to burn. So at this point I gauge my stove, put it under medium heat. And I allow this to boil, I would say, for five minutes. Then here, I'm adding my pasta. Once I added the pasta in, I mixed everything in to the milk or into the sauce. Then I will be adding my jerk sauce to this. Here I'm adding the jerk sauce all at once and I mix this into the liquid because this will have liquid in it. Even when you're done cooking, it will seem like liquid is in it, but you know, once it gets cold, it's not as liquidy as. If you want to, because I did it before, you can also use coconut milk. You don't have to use the heavy cream option. Optional, you can also use coconut milk. I should have mentioned. So whatever fits you, whatever flavor or taste you're looking for, or you can experiment with either of them. The heavy cream, and also the coconut milk it's up to you cheese is a must for the rasta pasta if you want you can also add mixed veggies in which would be carrots green peas you can also add that in here i'm about now to add in my grilled chicken into the mixture once i add this in i stir See, I'm mixing everything in. It still has liquid in it. The sauce is still in it. And you want to make sure that it's not on high E to be burning. For this Rasta Pasta too, I cook this for 10 minutes under medium heat it was you don't want to overcook your pasta because then 
you still have to add the cheese the milk everything you still have to cook this on the stove so you don't want to overcook the pasta here i'm just adding a little parsley to it so yeah don't overcook your pasta even when baking macaroni and cheese don't overcook your pasta because then you will still need to do additional cooking to this and then you don't want your pasta too soggy or too soft at the end of this video too or in the description box i will also leave my quick and easy mac and cheese recipe that i did and also an alfredo pasta video that i did you can click on it once this video is done to watch it or watch both of them so here my mixture is almost done see my pasta they are still like whole they are not breaking up because they are not overcooked and my pasta is ready to serve that's the end this is what the chicken grilled chicken rasta pasta looks like it was flavorful as always thank you again for watching thank you again for subscribing please make sure you hit that subscribe button please make sure you hit that notification bell please make sure you hit that like button please make sure to leave a comment i have been posting more frequently now i am trying to post at least two or three videos per week share my videos thank you again to my new subscribers